Alrighty, so this one is going to be pretty short and kind of to the point, but um, last video on the little animation studio uh, series, I guess, uh, we did a little 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 trick trickaroo to add some damage to our uh, visual effect uh, that we were doing with the katana being sheathed, um, which is cool for that little like boom boom like ground pound type thing um but this one is just going to be how to add like a projectile that comes off of the end of your sword like an actual bullet projectile um so we're going to be working off of what we already have made so i'm just going to go ahead and reopen up dsm studio here and then i'll talk to you in a second once it's done loading everything Okay, so here we are. Last time we were playing with the uh, sword being sheathed, if you remember, uh, getting kind of like a nice little boom on the floor. Um, for the sake of the video, I'm just going to use the same ID that we used in Map, or not Map Studio, in uh, Param Studio. So I'm going to delete the little ground boom that we had going on for uh, the katana being sheathed. And I'm going to use that ID line in Param Studio to add the bullet projectile. Okay, so here we are back in Param Studio or Map Studio, whatever it is you want to call it. Um, we're down here at the line we made in our last video. Uh, six zero one. Uh, we use that for the little like earthquake effect um, for our sheathing. Um, I'm just going to reuse it so I don't have to. Uh, make a new line or anything like that. It just saves me a few minutes of my life. Um, all we have to do, since we're not changing the behavior ID, we already have the line, everything's here. The only thing that we have to actually change to use this line differently is just the uh, reference ID right here for whatever bullet or anything that we want to use. Uh, I just want to use a little cool black knife, like slash, like black and red fire that comes off the end of the sword and hits somebody and takes away like 10% of their health or whatever. Uh, so we're just literally going to come over here. Uh, I'm still in behavior per RAM PC. I just typed in black knife and I found this one right here. I'm just going to take its ID right here and I'm going to go ahead and go back to ours. And I'm just going to plug it in right here. Black knife. It's a bullet. Butamus, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and click save all. We're all good there. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our DS Anim Studio. I am just gonna go to the left here. I don't want our sheathing animation being the thing that shoots projectile. I want to actually swing the sword, so I'm gonna go down here to the one where you shoot. Maybe we shoot it off at like the peak of our blade when it is exiting the sheath and we're in mid swing. So I'm gonna find a nice point here where it seems good. Maybe right here is a good enough time as any for the projectile to come off. Um, maybe right here. Uh, I want it to come off kind of like the end of the blade, not like the very tip, but like towards the end. So 10, 100 seems like a good spot right there maybe for it to come off so i'm just going to come down to the bottom here i'm going to click or hold on shift and then right click and then it'll make us this little jump table thing I'm just going to change that like we did in the last video to bullet behavior and then we're going to do the dummy, dummy poly id which is just going to be 10 100 because that's one that kind of makes sense for me uh, what i want but you can make whatever you want with whatever weapon or whatever you're doing if you want to just come out of your hand or your face or whatever um, and then behavior judge ID, if you remember, that is whatever the first digit is, and then the last three digits are. So first is six, and then last three, so zero, zero, one. So it's just going to be right here, six, zero, zero, one, and then we'll just click enable, and then everything else can be left zero, and that's totally fine. I'm gonna go ahead and click file to save, even though it's gonna give me a little error because I don't have the game running in the background, so it's not able to hot inject anything. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and start the game and then we'll chat in just a sec. All right. So here we are in the game. Um, we're going to go ahead and give her a test. So uh, if you've been with me through the whole process here, you're going to see our sheath. We get that nice little uh, boom boom. And then for the projectile, it's going to be on the light attack coming from the unsheath. So shoots that off. I think I was just out of range. So we're going to scoot a little bit forward. Slap him with it and it hits. And so this projectile is specifically tied to that one animation. So it's not gonna shoot the projectile from these regular swings. To get it to do that, you're gonna have to add it to the actual regular katana light swings, one-handed, two-handed, and all of those things are all separate animations. So if you wanna do that for several different attacks or a combo where you just fling them out in a flurry, you gotta, you gotta add that to each one of those animations. Um, this specific one is tied to the actual weapon art, so every time I do it, it does eat FP. Um, it does not have to be tied to a weapon art. Um, and if you are not a fan of where the bullet is coming off of the blade or in the swing, you can actually make some edits to that. I'm gonna run back up here really quick though, so I'm not getting the shit beat out of me while I show you that. Take a take a seat here, but. We'll, we'll pull Anim City back up over the screen here. So right here is where the bullet behavior begins. So the bullet spawns from dummy poly ID 10 100 when the blade is at this specific point. So you can't really see 10 100 very well from this angle right here. So it shoots when it's right here. So say you want the, the, the projectile to come out when the blade is a little bit farther forward. You can scoot this forward a little bit and kind of see if it lines up. So maybe like we want the blade to come out, the shot to come out like right here when the blade is kind of crossing the body more. We can just push it just a little bit forward. So it kind of comes out right here or so. And then we'll just do control S to get a nice little hot resave there. And you'll see the character in the background kind of like pop in and out. And then now the projectile should spawn a little bit more in front of the character rather than the side. Uh, sometimes it's a little bit finicky though just because it's coming off of the tip of the blade. Um, and that blade placement with the poly ID and the timing just doesn't always line up perfectly like you can see right there. We did change a little bit to come off um, but because this is snapping over just a tiny bit it's not it's not actually starting right where the line is there and I've, I've yet to figure out how to get like a little pixel perfect movement it kind of snaps along the line by little increments so if you know how to do that uh, let me know or you figure that out let me know because I don't know how to get it to not snap so that's probably what you're seeing there with it not spawning uh, at that point so I'm gonna I'm gonna move it over just a little bit more to see if it'll kind of cooperate and, and maybe it'll spawn a little bit more in front of the character see now so see yeah it spawns on the, uh, the the right side at the end of the blade swing more now because of that kind of like snap in of the uh, the bar which for a lot of projectiles and things like that it doesn't super matter um, a lot of these bullets and projectiles and things like that um, will line up better with certain attacks and certain animations um, so hopefully that is helpful to you for getting some actual projectiles coming off of the end of your sword. Uh, be a cool anime character or whatever, shooting off all your, your little sword blasts. But uh, that's going to be all for this one. The next video, I think I'm going to cover setting up uh, like an NPC um, bullet attack. So I'll probably do Astol's laser. So when you, you swing your sword at somebody, uh, and you're locked on to him. You, you shoot Assel's giant face melting laser and destroy him. So that'll be the next video. Uh, but until then, take care, guys.